Hey YouTube, so in this video we have a function of two variables and we have to find two things. Okay, we have to find the tangent plane at this point, so the equation of the tangent plane, and we also have to find the equation of the normal line um, to, this, to this function. Okay, so solution. So what I like to do in all of these, okay, I know some books give two formulas, but I like to use one formula, is I always set everything equal to zero, always. It just makes it easier and it makes more sense. So um, if you subtract z from both sides, you get x squared minus y squared minus z equals zero. Okay. Then I think of this as big F. So this is big F of x, y, z. And so you have that equal to zero. So now you have a level surface. And you know that when you have a level surface, the gradient vector is normal to your level surface. So we're going to use the gradient vector as our normal vector when we find the equation of the plane. If you remember from the past, the equation of the plane was a x minus x naught plus b y minus y naught and then plus z plus c <laughs> z minus z naught. You can see that, hopefully you can. So that's the equation of the plane, right? So in our case, the normal vector is the gradient vector, so that will take the place of a, b, c. So the gradient is the vector whose components are the first partial derivatives. So recall big F, it's going to be F sub X, F sub Y, F sub Z. So that's going to be your A, B, C in the equation of the plane. So it's nothing new uh, other than the fact that the gradient vector is perp to your plane. What about the normal line? Well, to find the normal line, we need a point, which we have. Or to find any line, we need a point, and we need a parallel vector. Well, since this guy is normal to the plane, and this line is normal to the plane, our parallel vector is going to be the gradient. So it's going to serve uh, two purposes. It will help us find the tangent plane and the normal line. Anyways, let's find this tangent plane. So to find the tangent plane, all we do is we take the partials. So f sub x. So in this case, the partial with respect to x is just 2x, right? Because these guys, you get 0, right? They're constant. The partial with respect to y is going to be negative 2y. And the partial with respect to z is negative 1. I did that really fast. Let me go over that again. So when you take the partial with respect to x, you treat all of these as constants. So they're all zeros. So you get 2x. Partial with respect to y, you treat these as constants, so they're zeros, so you get negative 2y. Partial with respect to z, you get negative 1. We plug everything in now. So here we have our, our x naught. That's our x naught, y naught, z naught. So we have to plug these guys in here. So fx at 6, 3, 27. That's going to be, um, uh, let's see, 2 times 6. Don't mess up here, 12. Right? Fy at... Um, 6, 3, 27. So y is 3, so we get negative 2 times 3, so negative 6. And then fz at 6, 3, 27, that's going to be negative 1. So our normal vector for our plane is going to have these components, right? That's the gradient vector at 6, 3, 27. That's the vector with the components 12, negative 6, negative 1. So 12, negative 6, negative 1. So now this is going to be our ABC in the equation of the plane, and we'll have, we'll have our equation. This is also going to be parallel to our normal line, so we'll use that to find some symmetric equations. Okay, so I'm going to erase this, right, so we don't need it anymore. Oh, gone. So it's A, this is our A, so A, B, C. So it's 12 times X minus 6, right? And then B is uh, negative 6, so minus 6 times uh, Y minus 3. And then uh, C is negative 1. It's negative 1. And then Z minus 27. And that's equal to 0. So I guess we can clean this up. Oh, multiplications. 12x. 12 times 6 is 72. So we get minus 72 minus 6y. Uh, 6 times 3 is 18. And they're, both they're both negative, so you get a positive. Minus Z plus 27. Minus Z plus 27. That's equal to 0. Let's check that. 12 times x is 12x, 12 times 6 is 72, and it's negative, negative 6y, positive 18, negative z, positive 27. Big math here, so negative 72 plus 18 plus 27. I don't want to mess that up, let's think about it carefully, old school. 27 plus 18, <laughs> 7 uh, plus 8 is 15, you carry the 1, so you get 45. So you got 45, and then minus 72, so let's see, so if you add 20 to 45, you get... Uh, 65, you need 7 more uh, to get 72. So I think when you subtract these, you're going to get negative 27. So 12x minus 6y minus z, negative 27. So hopefully 
uh, we did that correctly, right? We combine these, we got uh, 45, and then uh, 72 uh, minus 45 is, is 27, right? Okay, and that's equal to zero. Hopefully you didn't mess that up. Uh, add the 27, 12x, that's the hardest part of the problem, it's the adding of the numbers. Uh, so that's the equation of the tangent plane, right? That's the equation of the tangent plane. To find our symmetric equations, we're just gonna use this vector. Okay, so why? Because this vector is normal to our surface, which I just erased, right? And um, so we want the normal line, so this vector is parallel to our normal line. So the equations, uh, the symmetric equations of a line are x minus x naught over a equals y minus y naught over b equals z minus z naught over c, okay? So in this case, uh, this is our ABC, we just plug everything in, so it'll be x minus six over 12. And then y minus negative six, oh no, y minus, uh, y minus three, almost messed up, y minus three over uh, negative six, right? So we have x minus six over 12, right? And then y minus three, right, over negative six, and then uh, z minus 27, sneaky, over negative one. I'm just gonna leave it just like that. If you wanted to, you could also find uh, parametric equations, but uh, I guess the symmetric ones are just good enough. The original question only wanted symmetric. I hope that made sense.